Hi world! Today I am going to give you the five top trends for 2023 in bathroom design and a couple other little miscellaneous ones that I see happening. Stay with me. I'm Janice T, bathroom designer, interior designer. I've sold plumbing, so I understand this world from the inside of the walls out. Okay, number one trend. White is getting warmer. Okay, it's still white. We're still gonna have a lot of white. Uh, I think that's gonna be the trend for a long time. We just wanna feel clean in our bathrooms, but the white is definitely getting warmer. Bear's color of the year is canvas, and it's a warmer white. Uh, my favorite, here they are, my favorite uh, five whites, four are warm, one is cool. So overall, as you can see in these photos, white is just getting warmer. It's just feeling a little more cozy, enveloping to us. You know, we had our two years of um, pandemic, which is involved with illness. So white and sterility, we went together. We really wanted our homes to feel clinically clean, but <laughs> we're past that now. We could warm it up again, okay? So what are we seeing? The whites are warmer, much more wood trim. Uh, this is still continuation of what was called Japandi, or it is Japandi, but nobody's really calling it that, but it is the same thing, much more woods in the bathroom, whether it's in the vanities, shelves, wood flooring, and yes, there are woods you can use as flooring in a bathroom. Uh, what else? I have to check my notes. Mm, more pattern. Whether the pattern is uh, on in the stones, whether it's the tile, I'll talk about this a bit, but pattern in itself is more of a warming feeling. So we're seeing a lot more of the pattern. And we also are literally making our bathrooms warmer. I live in Vancouver or I grew up in Vancouver and we've often had uh, heated flooring. It's just been a thing for a long time, but it's I see it's catching up in other places now where it wasn't so obvious. So we have much more heated flooring. We have independent uh, wall mounted radiators with their own controls that we can control the, the temperature in the bathroom independent of the rest of the home. We're having much more of the heated towel bars. Again, they've been around for a long time, but you're seeing it much more. So we have literal warmth and we have figurative warmth of the colors being warmer, of more pattern, just more enveloping. So that's number one trend is the bathrooms are becoming warmer white. Number two trend, and I've talked about this all along, but others are finally catching up, so I'm excited. Lighting in your bathroom, okay. Mine's not the best today, it's hard to record at night, but again, in the Pacific Northwest, it's dark at four o'clock. So anyways, uh, lighting, because what's happened for years, we've had those horrible bath bars above and it just comes down on your face and you just get shadows. It's not flattering. We're in there trying to feel good. We're trying to do our makeup. We're trying to shave. As we age, we're looking for, you know, stray hairs, whatever. We want good lighting. So get the lighting down by the sides of your face, whether it's sconces or pendants. Even if you're a renter, you can screw to the wall, you know, a wall sconce, uh, maybe the type, you know, like in a library where they come out and go back in. Just watch where the electric and the water and all that is and make sure it is a GFI or a ground fault interrupter system. Uh, so you don't, you know, give yourself a electrical, you don't get electrocuted, but, Look at lighting in the bathroom, um, lighting inside a medicine cabinet so that you open it, it reflects more. Even if it's not lit in there, get one that's got mirrors on the inside, it reflects much more. So lighting is a huge thing in the bathrooms and people are finally acknowledging it. Look at what's inside the shower, in niches, the ceiling, above, get it down by your face. So lighting is the number two trend that is finally exploding. You're gonna see it in 2023. Trend number three for 2023, and this is coming from the whole home, a uh, mix of vintage and modern. But I actually think we probably see it in the bathroom, maybe the most, because as much as we want to bring in the traditional feel of vanities, you're seeing a lot more of uh, vintage or traditional, whether they are new construction made with the old styles, like this, 
or whether they are vintage ones where you're putting the sink in again like this uh, but we're doing the details as maybe traditional or vintage depending on our periods but we still want a really clean aesthetic in the bathroom so the Basins are still clean lined. The details of the shower, the actual details of the space and the colors are still very modern, very clean. So a bathroom is very much going to show that eclectic mix of vintage and traditional, maybe more than any other room in the home. The faucets, uh, what we touch, the hardware, the, the drawer pulls, all of these things are really going to make that vintage or traditional feel stand out even more. But again, partly because it's easier to clean, but we still like a clean line. Here's a couple good examples. I'm going to dictate number four as the next trend, and I'm calling it patterns because this does actually cross over into the others, but I really think it is its own. Uh, we're seeing much more pattern, whether it's in the grain of the wood floor or the wood shelves we're bringing in. We're seeing much more pattern in stone, whether it's a slab, even a, you know, instead of just a traditional Carrera that's soft gray and white, there's much more dynamic gray and white stones we're seeing like here. We're still having monochromatic bathrooms like this black and white one, but look at how much pattern is in here now. The other that goes with the vintage and traditional that we're getting of is the tile floors. We're seeing the mosaics back, the penny rounds back, um, checkerboard. You know, all these traditional style tile floors are back, but they're pattern. And this is also where color is coming in. This is warming up the visual impact of the space. Pattern is also on removable wallpaper. You're gonna hear me talk about that all the time. I think it's a fabulous trend. It's a great way to put some image, warmth, punch, whatever in a bathroom in a way that we're not stuck with. Um, yeah, it can be trendy, it doesn't matter. It's easy to remove and really easy to clean. I think they're fabulous for a kid's bathroom. Number five, I'm calling luxury because luxury is different to everybody. To some people, storage is a luxury. So you do see much more of this now. There's much more storage, but it's thoughtful. It's planned ahead now. It's what I've talked about in other ones. It's using the space between the studs to get niches in the showers or to install medicine cabinets, uh, full height medicine cabinets. There's all sorts of places that you can get more storage. And this is a luxury to a lot of people. So this is one thing. I mentioned already the heating. So maybe heating is a luxury and you're gonna see more of that, whether it's your towels being heated or the independent thermostat in the space. Another luxury is independence of space. So what we're seeing coming back, I know there was a lot of this maybe in the 80s, but you'll see it come back where there's maybe a common bathtub or a shower in the middle of a bathroom. And on either side, each there's two toilets uh, or sorry, one toilet on each side and one vanity on each side. So people have their own space to prepare and whatever. They're not just the vanity with two sinks next to each other. You know, we want that independence of space and to many people that's a luxury. So you're gonna see things like that. Uh, you're, you definitely are still gonna see the luxurious plumbing in the faucets, but it's less, for show for the neighbors, but for what feels good to yourself. So it might be what the faucet feels like. Uh, that is a luxury for some people. In the showers, what you know, body sprays, jets, whatever. Again, it's not because it's the trend in the magazine, but it's because it's a personal luxury. More planning and more thought is going into a bathroom now for actual use of the space. It used to be there was, you know, three, four, five standard plans, and it was luxury of what you had seen at the last parade of homes. Now it's luxury for what feels good to ourselves and what we want. And I think that's good. Um, I don't think that that's luxury in a bad way. I think it's a really good way because a bathroom is a very personal space. And I think 
when we recognize that we are in our most vulnerable state, when we're in there, it makes sense that we make a space that feels good and nurtures ourselves. So there's my preach for the day. Anyways, I think luxury is number five, but it is what does luxury mean to you? And yes, I said I'm going to throw in a couple extras. Um, color. Color is absolutely around, but... <laughs> Most of us don't want as our primary bathroom where we're getting ready, ready every day to have a lot of color. You're going to see it absolutely though in the guest room, guest bathrooms or the powder room, half bath, whatever you call it, places like that, kids bathroom, uh, you're going to see it. It can be a pop of color. It might just be that you've got funky wall sconces. Uh, that put some color. It might be towels. Again, removable wallpaper. It's a great way to do it. You can have big pow uh, pattern, be very dynamic and be very interesting, but you only have to have it for a year or two. And I don't think that's particular waste. I think that is a fun way of putting some life into our bathrooms. As long as the bones of the space remain something that we are going to like for 10, 15 or 20 years, because bathrooms don't get done very often. Bathrooms are very expensive. Bathrooms are very hard to do. Bathrooms are overwhelming to most people. So make your decisions for the base of the bathroom to not be too trendy, even though I know we're talking about trends, but make it a space that you're gonna love and enjoy and use for 10, 15, 20, 30 years, but do the trends on the details, okay? Um, what else? I think that's about it. I have updated my uh, bathroom reno cost guide. The 2022 has been updated. Link is below, uh, new pricings, and I have included some trends in it this time for you. So if you want the new version, you'll find it below. Have a great week, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.